It's week 12 of the NFL, and we'll see the Voyagers, leader at quarterback. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Voyagers and the Shamrocks, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us across the Atlantic and along the River Liffey in the wonderful city of Dublin, Ireland. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Voyagers of Paris and the Dublin Shamrocks. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at these Dubliners entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visiting Parisian ball club, they come in on a one-game winning streak. And what do you say we keep that one positive? Because they haven't had much to be positive about lately. Yeah, let's take it maybe make it almost like the theater. You're only as good as your last performance. Hopefully they can continue to move forward. is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 25 carries, a touchdown to go along with 124 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. Short yardage situation, here's Charles. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out, and did just that. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand. Just and a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and allows him to make some special plays out there. 
That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Looking to throw. Colbert. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. We're backed up here. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Colbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you used the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes, spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But you look at this defense. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. So the big gain, all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then set behind the original line of scrimmage. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field. Defensively, make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Shamrocks will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get turned it all loose. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down, Rollins. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 
Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Rollins. That's complete. It's Collins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Looking to throw. Rollins, he finds his man complete. It's Simmons. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's a give. Left side, it's Charles. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Rollins. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Looking to throw. Rollins. And he is caught. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. the play fake. Rollins. He's got the connection to Moore. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. They run it. It's Charles. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him 2 on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. And they'll turn their power game to try to get in. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. From the three now, here they come on third and goal. They'll let Charles try and get him in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Voyagers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do anticipating will we have to make the call they already had it lined up never even got to it now for the point after it's up and good so these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7 so i'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away this taken in right around the goal line and he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. 
Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. A throw over the middle taken in. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On second down now. Landry call that a loss of a yard and things get a little more difficult here third and five Brandon that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do maybe they scouted it perfectly maybe someone tipped it off but on that play it had no chance well that's one way to convert on third down picking up 26 yards normally on third down and short yardage you're thinking to throw to your tight end it's just going to be a simple chain mover this time they let him roam down the field and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw. Colbert. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now second and three. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. 11 yards there. First down. Looking to throw. Colbert. Incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Colbert under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Looking to throw. Colbert. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range. No sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Well, Paris offense out to have another go at it. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now this throw caught left side. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. Rollins. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of it, it's low and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a handoff inside. It's Jackson. 
And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Looking to throw. Rollins. And this pass broken up. And the contact, low well time there. And now fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And following that punt, which turned out as well as it possibly could have, this offense has 99 yards to go to the other end zone. And the defense is frothing at the mouth with a chance to get points themselves. If they tackle a runner in the end zone, safety. And if there's a holding call in the end zone, that's also a safety as well. So either way you decide to go on offense, you've got to be careful. To throw from his end zone, Colbert. And this is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And they'll send out their punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Here's more on the return. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. A first down carry here for Charles. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now pass complete to Moore. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 27 yards there, a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Back to throw. Rollins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. First and goal. They go, no, bottled up, fumble, it's out, it's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know, often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Dublin's offense now set to take over. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Colbert. That'll be caught, it's Scott. And they work this out past the 25. A well-executed 22-yard game. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, 
the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. Landry, and he'll get this up just shy of the 30. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point right down the middle, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And all deep in his own territory, he calls up the football. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. On first down, Colbert. Touchdown from 17 yards out. And the Shamrocks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? Extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. To throw on second down. Rollins throwing the out route incomplete. That's Simmons. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, Rollins. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Looking to throw on second down. Rollins. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll run from the gun with Charles, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with a 
his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Voyagers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back out comes this offense now, late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Throwing on first down, Colbert. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They try to throw on second down. This one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And to find the open man. That's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon. Bye weeks, they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in Week 12. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. So the halftime break behind us, and we are back underway with the third quarter of action. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. Most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. 
And they run the option here on first and 10. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. To throw on third down, McQueen. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Collins. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Looking to throw. Rollins. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Take it at the 37. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now a pass hard in downfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give them 32 on the play. Despite writing it down on my notes, I've never given up credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. On first down, Colbert got an open man. It's Scott. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that will bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. Will go down as a gain of six, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He lost two, and it brings up four. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched. The now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. 
They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. Well, clearly that was a design play. I just don't know that it was the right design. Hey, you're older to have him pick it up and kind of be the power guy trying to run through the middle. Everything has to go right for that to work. You mean you weren't relying on just great blocking to get him through? You kind of think maybe he can help make his own way if he's an actual running back yeah. instead of the holder? Yeah, I thought the same thing. And the drive starts with a completion left side. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Now a give, right side, Charles. Oh, look at the juke. And they'll get him down here at the 23. 48 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. From the 31, here's second down and two. Back to throw. Rollins throwing the out route incomplete. It's Collins. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And the Paris first down. They'll hand it off. This is Charles. He'll get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. He's going to look deep for more, and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Looking to throw. Rollins. And that will be incomplete. What about the covers we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second down, Landry. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Pass is caught. He finds Scott. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. On first and ten, Colbert. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And a great return here gets us with all the way down to the 26-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. The Paris offense out to have another go at it, and they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. Throwing on first down. Rollins. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The start of this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover. But I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they've got it in 
inside the 10 at the 8. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Operating from the gun, Rollins. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. As they've done all day, they run with Charles. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. And they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Back to throw. Rollins to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to run and try to get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look to have a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Up the middle they go. Landry. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now an option play and he'll keep it. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 22. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Colbert over the middle. That's caught by Scott. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, Landry. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Shamrocks are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index, 
This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's... There he goes, left side! And they worked this well up field across the 45. Holding offense. Well, penalties don't usually hurt as much as that one does. That is a monster game wiped out by the flag. And you and I both know that an offense only gets a couple of those big moments in a normal game. You've got to take advantage of them. When you give one away because of an avoidable penalty, that's a major disadvantage. Just steals away every bit of momentum you just generated with that play. To throw on second down, Rollins. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Collins. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun. Rollins. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six, they'll get another shot at it now, as this one's in the air. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and 10. Now an inside handoff for Charles. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Operating from the gun, Rollins. Throw left side complete. That's Collins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On first down, Rollins. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or play something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And 12 at the 31-yard line. Back to throw. Rollins. A quick throw there. He is incomplete. 
At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, Someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Simmons. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Ball at the 26. Second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On second down now, Landry. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 92 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Up the middle they go. Landry. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry, and he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Second and nine. Operating from the gun, Colbert. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And they'll run again. But he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. They'll try to run this one in, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Shamrocks have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Voyagers 17. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. On first and ten, Rollins. Right side caught by Jackson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Looking to throw on second down. Rollins, and he's got the hook up to Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rollins. He finds his man complete. It's Simmons. Touchdown! A big play there. 61 yards. And the Voyagers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. A try here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. So they only needed three plays on that drive. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That's a really nice play to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Powering his way forward. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. They'll run on first down. Landry, and he is going to be stopped here at the line of scrimmage, and time is going to expire in this football game. 
And Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Dublin, the win gets them a step closer to 500 at 5-6. Five and six, And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Paris, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to 3-9. and nine. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.